Hello, folks. Welcome back to Play It Again. This is Red Clock, and we're currently playing Centipede for the Atari 2600. And this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Basically, I've read the manual, and I don't know how this really goes with the arcade version, but you're playing the square that you're playing as is supposed to be an elf with a magic wand that he found in, in an enchanted forest with a mushroom garden. Those little squares on the screen represent mushrooms. And basically what you're trying to do is wipe out the centipede, kill the spiders and the scorpions, and beetles and whatever flying insects you have. And basically what you do here is you try to score as many points. I don't know how that has anything to do or be relevant with the storyline, but let's give this a shot, shall we? Oops, sorry. Hit the wrong button. <laughs> Pause the video for a second. Okay, well, let's give this a shot. I might not do very well my first try. The main difference between this game and, uh, and, uh, Millipede, instead of Centipede, is that there's DDT bombs. You can hit these bombs, and clouds of smoke will come out, and it will vaporize your enemies. If they run into it. But we're not talking about that game, we're talking about this game. And you really don't have to do any button mashing in this either. You can just hold down your button. And just, it's rapid fire. Trying to talk while I'm thinking at the same time isn't really working. <laughs> but I guess you've already figured that out already. Kind of a pain in the ass having that spider. Oh, he just came for me. Yeah, that spider jumping around trying to get you. Oh, you gotta dodge while you shoot. I mean, that's up and down, forward and backward, side to side. I just earned extra life. And the centipede, when you shoot it, it'll actually break apart, as you can see. Which is kind of awkward. But hey, that's what makes this game great, I guess. Oh, here we go. I'm getting bombarded here. Usually there's like a little method to this. You keep like a little path there for them to get trapped in and you can just keep shooting them. Whoa, see, I don't understand how some of these guys just bounce around and, uh, see, he just came right for me. I don't understand how that happens. I understand that the, they usually go down or descend one level whenever they hit one of the mushrooms, but there was nothing there and he just kept on going and came for me. I don't know if it's a glitch in the game or what exactly that is, but I don't know. I haven't really played the arcade version of this in years, so... Uh, how much time do I have? Oh, I got plenty of time. Let's give this another shot, shall we? Come on, shoot that spider! Ah! Came a little too close to me. I'm not going to be talking much in this game. i got to do a little bit of thinking. And I noticed uh, whenever you shoot the centipede, there's a mushroom in its place. A little square mushroom.
Oh, I was trying to hit that fucker. Oh! <laughs> kind of, uh, intense. This isn't one of my best games to play. I don't do that well in it, but it's still fun to play. I think it seems to be dodging every single shot that I make. Ah! I was being too careless there. Now let's get this guy. Oh, hey, hello. One spider after another. As soon as you kill one, another one respawns. Oh, that one was quick. I can get after I'm done. Jeez, these things are dodging everything, man. I hate those spiders. I hate the noise that they make. Like that. an extra life. I know when those uh, beetles descend, they uh, bring uh, extra mushrooms with them. Or they have mushrooms in the places. Uh, never mind. I'm talking and not paying attention to the game. What I was saying earlier was whenever those uh, beetles descend, they put mushrooms in the place of where the line of uh, their descent, if that makes any sense, or if I'm making sense right now or not. Wow, that was fast. shit going on on the screen at the t same time. Come on. Get them. Get it. And I think whenever those individual pieces of the centipede circles on the screen for a certain period of time, uh, another piece respawns in its place. Not in its place, but joins the piece or something like that. If I'm making any sense. A lot of thinking right now. Me no talk so good. I didn't even see what hit me. Okay, what time is it? 
I got one more game left in me. All right, let's see how far we can get this time. We, now we got 29,657 points. Let's see if we can beat that. the life already? Come on, get that spider! Get it! Got him right in the box. Oh. <laughs> well, that was fun. Anyway, folks, uh, thanks for watching Play It Again. Stay tuned for the next part. Have a good night. And old, stay tuned for another video game.